Oh! Oh, got one. What do we got? Hello everyone, it's me, David Tifatal, or Tifsa, and I am on my computer to show you a very cool tool that you can use if you live in Wisconsin. This is the, you see it, Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources map of distribution of Wisconsin fish species. Now, this is why it's cool. It helps you find fish. Let's say you want to go fishing and you're targeting walleye, or you're targeting lake trout and you want to know if inland lakes in Wisconsin have them or something like that, or the rivers, you use this tool. Today, I want to target brook trout. Now, I know western Wisconsin and northern Wisconsin has brook trout, but believe it or not, there are some areas in southeastern Wisconsin that have brook trout. So what you do is you go up to the common name right here, and you'll pick brook trout. I'm a little worried about it, as far as uh, the years so i'm going to look in the last 10 years so there's brook trout i do not want to update map yet because i don't want to know if there's brook trout in some place in 1875 or 2010 okay don't hit export data that's going to send you something that i'm not really even sure of um, what i'm going to do is hit update map and look for the red dots update map look at that so it takes a little bit of time. This is not the fastest thing in the world, but look, Western Wisconsin, anywhere you want to go, there's brook trout. But where I live, Southeastern Wisconsin, there's not a lot of places. I'm going to zoom in, okay? I'm going to hit the plus sign, zoom into my area, my neck of the woods, and go one more, okay? So there, I live in Hartford. Look, there are actual places that are close to my house where there's brook trout. And when you do is you go to the red dot and the smaller the red dot, the less fish, the larger the red dot, the more fish. So look right here by Palmyra and Eagle. If you click on this red dot, it'll tell you exactly how many fish were found there and the date that they did the survey. This might take some time. I'm gonna click it. There it is, there's the data, look. This is where they did the survey on the Scuppernong River. They even give you like where the closest road that intersects it is. And then they tell you how many fish they found when they did the survey. So obviously this spot, if you want to target brook trout, has a lot of brook trout. So that's what this tool is all about. There's another thing that's really cool about this that you can do is you can just center on a lake. Like, uh, I don't know, I'll pick Pewaukee Lake. There's Pewaukee Lake. I used to live right by it. And, and once you have it like in your screen, then you can just say update map. And this will not focus on one species. It will give you all of the species for that. So if you click on the red dot, it will list all the different species in that body of water. All right, so here we go. This is the data from Pewaukee Lake. So there's walleye, there's muskie. Ooh, I gotta catch one of those. There's largemouth, there's smallmouth, uh, northern pike. So yeah, it, it, you can see when they survey a lake, they, ooh, black crappie, ooh, bluegill, ooh, pumpkin seed, rock bass, yellow perch. So as you can see, when they survey a lake, you can see what fish are in there. So you know what you could target when you go to a specific body of water. So pretty cool stuff. I, I really recommend trying to use this tool. It's, it's awesome. Now, it's one thing to see a red dot on a map. It's another thing to actually catch the fish. So I'm gonna do that. Coming after you, Brook Trout. All right, we're here, people. I brought a very uh, minimalist approach today. I have my phone, I'm filming on my GoPro, and then I'll show you my gear. All I have is an ultralight rod with a uh, spinner. I believe this is a Panther Martin, yeah. It's a number two, a small one. I have a snap swivel on it. I've been told to put a swivel up higher for this instead of having it connected right to it, but I, I didn't set that up. Oh well. I have hand sanitizer too, because 
you know, these days are crazy. Um, I've got a couple other spinners and swivels right here. I've got my net because brook trout are sensitive and I want to be very nice to them. I've got a pliers and my waders. That's it. Let's go! I need to prove that this map thing is right. All right. Creek is right over there. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, I'm getting bites right in there, right away. Oh, darn it. Okay, I cast kind of low. There we go. Oh, oh, got one. What do we got? Whoa, you gotta be kidding me. All right, you're in the net, you're in the net. You're okay, you're okay. You gotta be kidding me. This is a big brook trout, you guys. Holy cow, oh, he hammered it. All right. You gotta be kidding me. Holy cow. There he goes. There he goes. Oh, yes! Oh, all right! Dude, that was a big brook trout. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! All right! All right! Yes! Oh, my God! That is so pretty. Oh my god. That is just ridiculous. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> that is like not real looking. Oh, yeah. Oh, darn it. Oh, yes. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> yeah! Nice. Look at that fish. Look at that fish. Oh! Oh! Okay, okay. Whoa! Jeez. So pretty. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, the pretty this fish is. Unreal. There he goes. <laughs> wow. That tool works. Now I've used it before and been to places where I didn't catch the fish, but I, I saw it or I didn't catch the fish at all. I didn't see it. So it's not a guarantee that using this site will 
help you catch fish, but at least you know they've been there. And that helps, you know? So, hey, it helped me a lot today. I caught my best brook trout ever. Thanks for watching. Push all the good buttons. If you ever get a chance to catch a brook trout, do it. They are so pretty, like unbelievably pretty. Probably the prettiest fish I've ever caught. All right, thanks for watching. Push all the good buttons. Yeah!